welcome to this VLSA design lecture series. In today's lecture video, I'll be discussing about how to design logic gate, especially NAND gate using MOSFETs, using both P-channel MOSFET and N-channel MOSFET. In general, the MOSFET is a four terminal device with a train terminal, source terminal, gate terminal, and a body terminal which is also called a substrate terminal. Normally, because the body terminal of the MOSFET is always connected to the source terminal of the MOSFET, we normally consider MOSFET as a three terminal device consisting of drain, source and gate. But in reality, it is a four terminal device consisting of the fourth terminal called as substrate. But because the substrate is always connected to the source of the MOSFET, we normally consider for all our theoretical analysis, we consider that the MOSFET is a three terminal device consisting of drain, source, and gate. There are two kinds of MOSFET, N-channel MOSFET and P-channel MOSFET. In NMOS transistors, when the gate voltage is greater than threshold voltage, it turns on, NMOS transistor turns on. When the gate voltage is lesser than threshold voltage, NMOS transistor turns off. In digital level abstraction, when the gate input of NMOS transistor is given with logic level high, NMOS transistor turns on. When the gate voltage or the gate input of the NMOS transistor is separate with logic level zero, NMOS transistor turns off. That is with respect to digital abstraction. So this is a symbolic representation of uh, NMOS transistor consisting of three terminals, gate terminal, source terminal, and drain terminal. When gate terminal is applied with logic level high, there is a connection established between source and the drain terminal. When the gate terminal of this NMOS transistor is applied with logic level zero, there is no connection established between source and the drain terminal. It acts as open switch. Similarly, there is one more flavor of MOSFET, which is called as PMOS, P-channel MOSFET. In P-channel MOSFET under digital level abstraction, when the gate input of this P-channel MOSFET is supplied with logic level low, P-channel MOSFET turns on and there's a connection established between the source terminal and the drain terminal of the P-channel MOSFET. When the gate input of this P-channel MOSFET is supplied with logic level high, there is no connection established between the source and the drain terminal and P-channel MOSFET is said to be off in digital level abstraction. So in digital terms, we can conclude that in NMOS transistors, when the gate logic is equal to zero, the state of the NMOS transistor is off. For NMOS transistor, when the gate level logic is one, the state of the NMOS is on. Exact opposite of this NMOS operation, whatever we have seen as PMOS operation. For PMOS transistor, when the gate level logic is zero, PMOS transistor will be on. For PMOS transistor, when the gate logic is high, PMOS transistor is off. Using this basic knowledge, let us try to design a NAND gate. So designing of NAND gate using MOSFET, we first have to consider the Boolean expression of it. For dot operation, PMOS transistors are always connected in parallel, whereas NMOS transistors are always connected in series. Whenever we are designing a circuit with respect to CMOS technology, this is the rule which we use. For dot operation, PMOS transistors are always connected in parallel, whereas NMOS transistors are always connected in series. For plus operation, PMOS transistors are always connected in series, whereas NMOS transistors are always connected in parallel. For NAND gate, we already know that the Boolean expression is y is equal to a dot b the whole bar. We have a dot operation over here. So for dot operation, PMOS transistor should be connected in parallel whereas NMOS transistor should be connected in series. So for NAND, because we are giving two inputs, two input NAND we have considered. So because we are giving two inputs, we will be using two PMOS transistors connected in parallel and two NMOS transistors which are connected in series. PMOS transistors forms pull up network, NMOS transistors form pull down network. The reason why PMOS transistors forms pull up network is because of this PMOS transistor, the output will be pulled to higher level voltage, higher level logic. Hence, it is called as pull-up network. 
whereas in most transistor when it turns on it always tries to pull down the output voltage to logic level 0 hence in most transistors forms pull down transistors or pull down logic so using this basic knowledge let us try to design a mosfet using sorry design an and gate using mosfet So this is how the design goes. For dot operation, PMOS transistors are connected in parallel, whereas NMOS transistors are connected in series. The pull-up network is connected to logic level high. The source terminal of P1 transistor and source terminal of P2 transistor is connected to logic level high. The drain terminal of PMOS transistor is connected to drain terminal of PMOS 2 transistor, which is in turn is coming to output. From there, from the output connection, it is connected to drain terminal of NMOS transistor 1. The source terminal of NMOS transistor 1 is connected to drain of NMOS transistor 2. The source of NMOS transistor 2 is connected to logic level 0, VSS or ground, which is logic level 0. We have two inputs with respect to two input NAND gate, A and B inputs. A input is given to the gate terminal of P1 MOSFET. B input is given to gate terminal of P2 MOSFET. A input is given to gate terminal of N1 MOSFET. B input is given to gate terminal of N2 MOSFET. Output will always be extracted between pull-up network and pull-down network. So this is the pull-up network which comprises of PMOS transistor. This is the pull-down network which comprises of NMOS transistor. Somewhere in between, we will be extracting output always. For NAND gate, we already know that when both the inputs are high, the output should be low. For all other three cases, the output should be high. That is, when A input is 0, B input is 0, the output should be 1. When A input is 0, B input is 1, output should be 1. When A input is 1, B input is 0, output should be 1. Whereas when A input is 1 and B input is 1, the output should be 0. So let us check whether we'll get that or not under this particular design. So when A input is 0, B input is 0, the output which we have to get is 1. Let us check that. So when A input is 0 and B input is 0, we already know that when the gate input is logic level 0, PMOS transistor will be turned on. So both P1 and P2 will be turned on, whereas NMOS transistors will be turned off. So N1 and N2 will be off. So when PMOS transistors P1 and P2 are on, there is a different connection established between the source and the drain terminals of P1 and P2. So there's a connection established between the source and the drain terminal of P1 and P2. Whereas because NMOS transistors, both NMOS transistors are off, there is no connection between the source and the drain terminal of NMOS transistor. So it acts as open switch. It acts as open switch. There is no connection between logic level zero to output. Whereas there is a definite connection between logic level 1 to output. Hence, logic level 1 will be transferred from VDD to output and the output which we get will be high. Similarly, when A input is 0 and B input is 1, the output which we have to get is 1 again. Let us check that. So when A input is 0 and B input is 1, we already know that PMOS transistor turns on when logic level input which is given to gate input which is given to it is zero p1 mosfet turns on whereas similarly nmos transistor turns on when its logic level is high so n2 mosfet turns on whereas p2 mosfet is supplied the gate input of p2 mosfet is supplied with logic level one and the gate input of n1 n1 mosfet is supplied with logic level zero so these two mosfets are off so when the mosfets are on it acts as closed switch whereas when mosfets are off it acts as open switch so p2 mosfet and n2 mos n1 mosfets are off it acts as open switch whereas p1 mosfet and n2 mosfets are on if we observe here clearly this logic level zero cannot be transferred to output because there is no closed substitute condition between output and this logic level zero but if we observe logic level one can travel through vdd through source of this P1 MOSFET, through drain it can travel and it can reach the output. Hence, logic level 1 reaches the output. The output which we get is high. Similarly, when A input is 1 and B input is 0, 
the output which we have to get is again one. So when input is one and B input is zero, we already know that P MOS transistor turns on when its gate input is low and N MOS transistor turns on when its gate input is high. So P2 MOSFET and N1 MOSFET is on, whereas P1 MOSFET and N2 MOSFETs are off. So when the MOSFETs are on, it acts as closed switch, whereas when MOSFETs are off, it acts as open switch. So N2 MOSFET and P1 MOSFETs are acting as open switches. If we observe even here, there is no closed connection established between this logic level zero to the output. Here, there is an open circuit condition which is created. Hence, the logic level zero cannot be transferred to the output. Whereas, logic level one can be transferred through BDD. It can travel to source of PMOS transistor P2. Because PMOS transistor P2 is turned on, there is a definite connection established between the source and the drain terminal of PMOS transistor 2. So from source to drain, because there is definite connection, logic level one can trans be transferred to source to drain, drain to output. So logic level one will be transferred towards output and the output which we get will be equal to high. Finally, when both the inputs are high, the output should be low. Let us check that. So when both the inputs are high, PMOS transistor turns on only when its gate logic is zero. Whereas here, the gate logic is high. So both PMOS transistors are off. NMOS transistor turns on when the, its gate input is high. So both these NMOS transistors will be on. So NMOS transistor N1 and NMOS transistor N2 will be on. Whereas PMOS transistor P1 and PMOS transistor P2 will be off. So when PMOS transistors are off, both the PMOS transistors are off, complete pull-up network is open-circuited. So because it is open-circuited, this logic level one cannot be transferred to the output. So logic level one cannot be reflected as output here. But here if we observe, because both NMOS transistors are on, there is a closed circuit connection established here. It acts as a closed switch. So logic level zero is connected to output. So whatever might be the output, because the output is connected to ground, which is logic level zero. Logic level zero is nothing but ground. Because what, because it is connected to ground, output is connected to ground, whatever might be the output, the output will be equal to zero. So when both the inputs are high, the output is equal to zero. So this is how we design an AND gate using MOSFETs. I hope that you have understood this video lecture. Thank you.